Hi, this is Mark with Right Line Trading. Uh, this is our evening newsletter, starting with this disclaimer. Uh, there are also some trading opportunities that we provide for our, our educational demonstration purposes only. Um, everyone should understand that uh, participating in training uh, involves substantial risk and should be understood that a person who loses a substantial amount of money. Always carefully consider your financial position prior to trading and never risk more than you can afford to lose. Now, one thing that you very rarely do is see uh, uh, these uh, trading gurus and uh, um, wacky uh, mentors who uh, buy things on Friday and then they're all magically up on Monday actually uh, provide you with a video recap of how things did. Uh, I mean, performance is everything. And if they're not going to be really transparent about it, then um, nothing is of any value. So I, I wanted to just go through some of, um, uh, going into Thanksgiving, uh, some of my calls that I, I've made through these video newsletters. Um, they're all available on our, on our YouTube channel. And uh, you can see for yourself that these are all uh, very, very reliable. Um, the first one was a call I made on Macy's. Now, we took an options position on Macy's, uh, and it did amazingly well. Now. Macy's hit her upside target and we exited. Um, I saw a lot of, uh, um, you know, Kramer uh, hit, picked an upside target for Macy's at, um, at 30. And Macy's actually went to 37.95. Now, I'm very, very bullish on small or mid-cap retail, not big bricks and mortar. But I think Macy's is a, unique, is a unique standout. And as you can see, Macy's has done extraordinarily well. Just recently, I made a short call on Peloton. Um, I told you it was going into the dumpster. And um, I let every one of you know um, to sh sell it short. In fact, you can still see my line here. Um, well, I, you know, actually, this was, this was post video because we hadn't created this big short gap. Um, but um, uh, you can see what Peloton has done. It missed earnings. Uh, it's a mess. Um, I think the stock is good uh, down to 40. Um, you, you heard it here first. Uh, I called the short on Peloton about two weeks ago, I think. Um, if you want to go back on the YouTube channel and check the exact day, you can. Uh, but if you would have taken my uh, taken my call, uh, you would have created uh, a lot of trading success. Now here's a this is uh, I'm st just sticking with the daily chart. Um, uh, I'm not going to keep changing time frames. Called a short on Everspin, right at the top. Now not at the exact top, but real close. Um, Everspin made an, an enormous move up. Um, I, t I said it had been way overbought. And to short it was down significantly today. Uh, I think it's going to continue to move down. Um, as financial instruments are overbought, because traders tend to overreact, they get oversold as traders tend to overreact. And I think um, uh, this stock is just going to do this exactly uh, the, same, the same thing. If you remember that Everspin makes makes the uh, chips for um, MRAM drives, uh, it's a terrific company. But this one's coming back, being on an on an oversold on on overbought conditions. I made the call here. Uh, hopefully you uh, you 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 listen to me. Finally, I'm going to close with um, my long call on Etsy. Um, I had told you that I have I have. Um, uh, a, a tremendous uh, affection um, for uh, specific online retail and also for uh, mid-cap bricks and mortar retail, uh, which I currently hold the op options portfolio, which are doing very well. In fact, they're doing so well, I'm going to be adding another position, I believe, tomorrow. Um, and you can see again on a daily chart what Etsy has done. Now, Etsy pulled way back today. That's okay. Um, you, you know, it's a volatile stock. Um, it it, it uh, rose from about 200 to 300. So that's a 50% move up, $100 move. Now, 
I can't remember because of the exact day I made the call, so I can't tell you that I got all $100 of the move up, um, but I got a significant uh, piece of it. Um, and uh, even though Etsy's pulled back, uh, it is still in full bull mode. And I think going into the holidays, it is really a, an off, a wonderful stock. It's not a stock right now that I believe I would hop onto. Um, my number one sector is mid cap retail, followed by uh, energy, and number three, infrastructure. You all have a wonderful evening, and I look forward to talking with you tomorrow.